Hello and welcome to City Trekker. My name's Adam and I'll be your guide as we aim to find the right gear for the right task for you. Today we're taking a look at the remote equipment updates. Let's check it out. Remote Equipment is one of my favorite brands and the Alpha 31 backpack is my favorite backpack. I had lunch with Philip Delos Rays this summer and we talked through some of these updates and I wanna share them with you now. The Remote Equipment website has been updated, but it doesn't show all of the changes in these updates. And honestly, some of the materials are not completely accurate on the website yet. So I wanna get rid of any confusion and I wanna clarify the updates to these bags. We'll start from smallest to largest. So we'll do the Org Kits and then the Charlie 25 and then the Alpha 31. Now the Org Kits and the Charlie, they're referring to these updates as Gen 2. Uh, that's unofficial, so they may officially declare something else on the website soon. And the Alpha 31 is being referred to as the third production. This is really like a version 2.1, if you ask me. And I'm not doing a full review of these bags right now, I'm just pointing out the updates. So let's get into it, starting with the Org Kits. So as you probably know, the Org Kits can attach to the side of the Charlie 25 and the Alpha 31 uh, using these straps on the sides here. So you can run that through the inside like I have here, but they're a little bit dangly. It's a little tough to get them really tight when you do it on the inside. Or you can run them on the outside, uh, loop them through the outside, then it's a lot easier to cinch them down and keep them really tight to the bag. Taking them on and off are pretty easy, pretty fast. You just run them through these loops here. So we used to have the Org Kits only in black, a VX21, and now we have them in three different colors. We've got black, orange, and multi-cam black. And the primary change with these is the material. The new black and orange is an EPX 200, which is really light and thin. And then the multi-cam is an EPLX 600. So we've got EPX 200 on this, and it says the base is EPX 400. I'm not sure what the base is. This might be the base right here. It seems like this might be slightly different than this material. So I think this is the base. Now most of the design on this is the same. We've got the same loops on either side. Uh, we've got the, the pull ties for our zippers here. It really is just primarily the material that's different on these. And then this inside liner is an EPX 70 RS. If you've not used an org kit before, I highly recommend them. Uh, you have these elastic loops in the middle, two mesh pockets on one side, in a large zipped mesh pocket on the other side. And I gotta say, remote equipment struck pouch gold with these. They are incredible, and people really went nuts when they first came out. And I'm so glad that they've got these restocked and have them in multiple colors now. Now this is the original Org Kit in VX21. You can see the design and everything is very similar. Now I did take a look at these top loops, and they are slightly different. I think the new loops are almost not quite as wide, but it's really tough to tell. And the new Org Kits weigh the same as the old ones. So small update to the Org Kits, we got new materials and new colors. Moving on to the Charlie 25, we've got a new material on this, and this is an EPX 200. It's nice and thin and light and durable, and I'm a big fan of this material. This comes in a few new materials as well, and the multi-cam on this is an EPLX 600. Now the base on this is a little bit thicker. This is an EPX 400. On the sides on the compression straps, we have a new Velcro strap keeper. On the front, we've got an improved zipper. It is nice and smooth. And on the inside, we've got these side front pockets. And at the top, they've added a red loop here. So you can just grab the red loop, pull it out, and get access to this huge pocket. And this is designed to be able to hold an org kit on the inside of the bag if you want. This is a small detail, but we've got a new grommets here at the top and it's nice and small. Here you can see the old Charlie next to the new Charlie. Those are all the updates with the Charlie. And finally, we have the Alpha 31. Now the Alpha 31 first came in a black or a multi-cam black. This is a first production right here. The harness system was a lot different, a lot simpler. 
Had this shiny zipper for getting to the laptop. No spot for a waist strap, only one loop at the bottom. The top compression strap basically went into the water bottle pocket. And the first production of the Alpha 31 ended up becoming a huge success, not overnight, uh, but very quickly as soon as these got into people's hands. Then eventually they started working on the second production. And this is a, a bag that they made while they were trying to figure out what they wanted the second production to look like. Uh, this is a one-off and VX21 material. So you can see they were starting to try uh, something different with the back here, uh, some loops for uh, a waist strap, loops all across the front here, and exploring a different way to mount the top compression strap so it doesn't go into the water bottle pocket. This VX21 is pretty cool, but they ended up going with a different material for the final version of the second production. So second production arrived in a black EPX 600 and also UVX 40, uh, this crazy silver material. We've got VX 42 at the bottom here. Now, when I first saw this material, I thought it was ridiculous. And now I just love it and have gotten a lot of bags in this material. It's very durable, very light, and it's a really unique statement, I think. So we've got these loops on the bottom here. We've got the top compression uh, straps attaching to the back of the side here. We've got an updated harness system, really good shoulder straps, some wonderful updates with the second production of this bag. I interviewed Philip De Los Reyes talking about this and I'll provide a link down to that below as well as a full review of the second production of the Alpha 31. So not long after the second production, they started making some smaller tweaks to the bag. And so now we have the third production. Now this is an EPX 600, the same as the previous version, but the green color is an EPX 400. And the multi-cam is an EPLX 600. The inside liner is an EPX 70 RS. And we've got just a couple small updates on this. The first is a pretty big one. The zipper on the side here has been updated and we've got reinforced sewing on either side of this. What was happening with the second production is you would get right here and it would just kind of stick and it'd be tough to get past. And now it is much smoother. This is brand new and it's already broken in. Now this one I've had and used a lot. It's kind of stuck here at the bottom. So it sticks right around here and then right around here. The zipper area on the second production is kind of shiny, whereas on the third production, we get a matte finish. I think that looks nicer. So if you were worried about this laptop zipper, uh, you know, sometimes it would snag on this material. It is not happening at all on this third production. Another update is the buckles for the side compression and the top compression are now the same buckles. On the second production, they were different. The compression had smaller buckles and the top compression had a larger buckle. But if you accidentally put the small one into this large, it could get stuck uh, or vice versa. So having these all the same size now really keeps you from accidentally making the mistake of putting the buckle in the wrong buckle. And if you do put it in the wrong buckle, nothing's gonna break. And then on the side compression here, we do get some Velcro strap keepers, which is nice. So to be clear, all the zippers on all of these bags are now matte black. So no more shiny zippers. So those are the remote equipment updates. I'm loving the updates on these bags and I think you will too. Hey, full disclosure, remote equipment did provide the Alpha 31 and Charlie 25 for this video, uh, but I bought the org kits on my own. They're not sponsoring this video. They don't get to approve it before it goes live or anything like that, but I wanted to let you know that they did provide two of these bags. And they're not really announcing it, but remote equipment is under new ownership now. Philip De Los Reyes is still the head designer, and honestly, he's relieved to not be running every single aspect of the business now. So Phil's able to just focus on the designs and developing new products, and he is happy with that. And I'm happy for Phil. But now I've got a dilemma. Do I use this new updated Alpha 31, or do I stick with my UVX 40 version? I'm probably gonna stick with the UVX 40 because I love that material, but man, it's a tough call. So that's it, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please click the like button down below and subscribe to the channel to check out all of our future reviews. Thanks so much, and take care.